from Sexy in the City on Soy 6 in Pattaya, Thailand. First of all, I'm sure you notice I've got a haircut, but it's the same guy, same style, and same tips for you. This week, with only a couple of days away, I'm going to go ahead and cover the Song Cran Festival. What it is, some tips for you if you're coming, and some advice for you if you haven't been here before. So first of all, Songkran is the Thai New Year. It is the biggest holiday of the year for the Thai people. It is also the craziest, the wildest, and the wettest in the holiday areas of Thailand. But first I'm going to talk about traditional Thailand, what that uh, traditional Songkran, what that entails, and then the differences in the major cities. And then I'm going to move to some tips for you. So Songkran being the Thai New Year traditionally is celebrated with several events. Everybody goes home to the provinces. The Thai government goes ahead and gives everybody multiple days off so they can go home, visit their families, and spend some time during the New Year. It is actually one of the biggest traffic times of the year where people from all over Thailand leaving Bangkok and the big cities to go back home. It is also the highest traffic fatality time of the year because of so much traffic on the roads and so many intoxicated people uh, driving as well to celebrate the holidays. Traditional activities for Songkran include things such as sprinkling water in the hands of elders, on Buddha statues, visiting with monks and giving tribute, cleaning the house from bottom to top, spending time with families, with feasts and dinner, and getting to celebrate the new year by coming closer to your family. That is the traditional Songkran Festival. Also some beauty contests, um, traditional Morlam or Thai music, and traditional gatherings. Now, what has Songkran become? I'm not going to get into whether it's better or not, but it definitely has driven tourism. Uh, Songkran, I've found traditionally people either hate it or they love it. I have never met somebody that said, hey, Songkran, it's okay. I'm okay with it. It's, it's not bad. It's not good. You either meet somebody who literally flees the entire country to get away from it or people who fly in for it. So let me get into that a little bit more. So in the big city, Songkran has become a water war. It has become the world's biggest water fight. Everybody from nine years old to 99 years old equips himself with buckets, water guns, pipe cannons, you name it, and splashes anybody out on the street during daylight hours, sometimes a little bit later. The traditional Songkran dates are the 13th to the 15th across the country, but in some areas, specifically Pattaya, it runs until the 19th. What does that mean? Well, it means you get about nine days that any time you go out in the afternoon from about one or two o'clock, you are guaranteed to get wet. There is no opt-out. There is no, hey, I'm not playing. There is no way to not get wet if you go out in the afternoons during those times. So, what I tell people, so you don't get angry, you don't get mad, you don't get upset, dress, prepare. Number one, don't go out with your original passport and get it drenched. There's waterproof pouches for sale everywhere for 20 to 30 baht. Get one of those, put it around your neck. Don't put it in your pocket. Put it around your neck. P protect your wallet, protect your stuff, protect your phone. I wouldn't even bring out my phone, to be honest with you, unless it's waterproof. Wear shorts. Wear a shirt. Remember, from my prior videos in Thailand, it is actually impolite to walk around shirtless so wear a light singlet, wear a light shirt, wear a jersey, wear something. Go out and get soaked. Smile, be happy. Somebody hits you with water. It's meant uh, in Thai culture. It means they're washing away your sins from the prior year. Yeah, some foreigners don't get that. But regardless, that's what it is. If you lose your shit, you lose your cool, you get upset, you get angry, you get in somebody's face, you will get beat up more than likely. I've seen more fights in Songkran than any other time of the year, mainly from people unprepared who do not know what's going on and get angry if they get hit by water, mainly because they're not dressed right, their stuff's unprotected, etc. If you walk out and you know you're going to get hit, you'll have a good time. If you know getting hit by water, usually ice cold as they put ice blocks in it, is not your thing, stay inside, leave the area. Prepare, have a couple days of line up in your fridge or cooler, and don't go out. A lot of guys that don't like it know they don't have the temperament for it. They know that if they get hit with freezing cold ice water, they're going to get upset, so they're smart enough to stay home. Don't go out and cause a problem, the biggest thing from there. You also have uh, clay or caulk. 
They put it on your faces and wipe it all over you. It's also Thai tradition to do so. Many girls will do it as a sign of respect or a sign of friendliness during Songkran. Don't get mad if they do that as well. In Pati, the biggest areas for Songkran are generally Soy 6, Soy 7, and Soy 8 in the afternoon, starting around the 11th or 12th usually. The big day, as it's called, is the 19th. Do not schedule a taxi to come to Pati on the 19th. Do not schedule to leave on the 19th. Every single person in the city in Bangkok and from 100 miles around goes ahead and brings their truck to Padia, puts all their family members in the back of the truck, and they drive all around the city in roving water wars all day. It can take hours, hours to get as long as a mile or two anywhere in the city on the 19th. They shut down the entire beach road from end to end with concerts, celebrations, events, water parties. You name it, it happens. Do not go ahead and try to leave the city on that day once again. Songkran this year might be a little bit toned down from prior years in respect to the mourning of His Majesty the King. It's not yet quite clear what that may look like. However, expect it to be a little bit more calmer than prior years. However, without a shadow of a doubt, you will get wet. The reason why I said going back earlier, do not put any sort of uh, any sort of water pouch or protection in your pocket. The Songkran does attract a lot of pickpockets. As you get tens of thousands of people out for it, playing water, running around, hitting you in the face with water, you don't see what's going on. Keep it around your neck, put it down here, you're almost guaranteed to not go ahead and have a problem. I have had friends had it taken out of their pocket during Songkran. So, Cliff's Notes. During Songkran, you will get wet. There is no opt-out dress to impress. Number two, don't lose your temper. If you have a short temper and you know you're going to get angry if somebody hits you with water, stay home. That simple. Stay home. Number three, big day in Padia, the 19th, but water starts the 12th. If you want to party and get wet and get drunk, so I six, so I seven, so I eight in the afternoons. By the 16th, the whole city is playing. Have fun. Happy Songkran, everybody. Sabadi Pimai. Cup and cup.